All right, so this video we're checking out the new Beta FPV Express LRS Micro TX module. This one here has been updated to go up to one watt. Uh, the previous version that you saw on my channel was the uh, 500 milliwatt version. They have made some updates. Obviously, the case here is now black and not white. Um, let's just go over what you get in the box first. So, of course, you get the transmitter module. There's a dipole antenna. You get a USB-C cable. And this cable actually fits this hole here for the, or this little indentation for the USB-C ports. So, um, and surprisingly, it will also work with the white version of the case, which is a smaller hole. So I'll, I'll show you the difference here in a second. You get the same uh, little connector cable that goes in the bottom here. That's for the signal and um, a power out to a different source if you want to use this with a non-open TX radio or one without a JR module bay. You get your beta FPV Moxon antenna. This is the same one that came with the white version of the module. And then uh, of course the manual. Uh, I think this is calling this user manual version 2 because it's probably updated for the 1 watt version here. So comparing this to the previous uh, 500 milliwatt version, it's very similar, obviously, in size. Doesn't stick out like some of the other ones. This one does come with the button and the OLED screen. And then uh, the same uh, fan with RGB lights. But if you look at the uh, opening here for the USB-C ports, a little bit wider vertically there compared to the white one. Now the cable, this cable did not come with the white one. They should have included that because then people, I guess maybe people won't be, would have been complaining as much, but this one fits the white case as well. Um, yeah, but they include that now so people aren't going to be worried or unable to configure or update the firmware via USB. Still got the same uh, use or XD30 connector there. On the back, it's a little bit different because this one has uh, the backpack feature. So when you go and update uh, the module, so right now um, these dip switches have to be swapped out. So in the in the way it's right now with three and four being up or on, this is uh, normal operation mode. If you want to update the firmware via USB, when you plug it in and if these dip switches are in this position, it won't flash. You have to bring three and four down and move one and two up. And then when you plug that in, it will flash. Um, the main firmware for the transmitter. If you want to flash the backpack, um, everything has to be down and then five and six should be up. This is uh, documented on the product page at, at Beta FPV's website, but it is not documented in the manual, unfortunately. So keep that in mind. So if you want to update the backpack, everything's down except for five and six. Again, plug it into the USB port. Uh, I think that they, they have to swap the uh, basically where the USB port goes to in terms of communicating to um, which uh, bootloader that, that you're going to be updating. So now the firmware that was on here uh, when I got it, I think it was the um, forked firmware from Beta FPV that uh, I think it works with version 2 uh, and their forked code for the button and the screen. However, I went ahead and flashed mine um, with the master git branch code and it has a uh, version actual you know the official express sellers v2 code in there with the official code for the screen and the button i'll show you that here it's working in, in a second and everything seems to be working fine uh, although it's still you know probably in development there are probably still bugs but it seems to be working okay so i got the uh, module powered up now here you can see this is actually the screen from the official code not the forked version from beta fpv uh, if you want the fork version, you just have to you just go to the beta FPV site and download that and flash it if you want. But you can see the button is working, so you can adjust your packet rate, transmitter power, telemetry ratio, bind mode, turn on the internal Wi-Fi, etc. Press the button, adjust your packet rate up and down. Press to confirm, transmitter power, and adjust your power this way. Etc. So yeah, this is the official code. You do have to go into the configurator and select the Git branch, and it's the master um, drop from the drop-down menu. And that's the code that will work to get this work the button and the uh, screen working on the official 
firmware that will be eventually released when version 2.1 is official. It's not official yet, this is like 2.1 beta, I guess. All right, so here's a uh, quick look at what's inside here. So the board with the screen and the button is here. It's attached to the uh, front part of the case. You get some cables. This cable plugs into that port right there, and then this other cable for the fan plugs into the two-pin port right there next to the XT30. And you see the sort of translucent fan there, which allows the light from the LED to come through. And the LED is right there on the PCB or the main board. And you can see the RPSMA connector goes inside there. You can't really see where it goes. I think it connects to the back side of this board. Um, I think I'll probably pull that out and we'll take a look at that. All right, so this is the back side of the uh, module, main module board here. So yeah, I think they are actually, yeah, the RF chips are probably under here. That's where all of the heat is. And the heat sink's on this side. So, and uh, I'm sure people will make comments about the design. I'm just showing it to you. I'm not an RF uh, engineer or a PCB board designer. So I really can't comment on whether this is any good or not. Uh, UFL connector there for the RPSMA pass through. And yeah, that's pretty much the whole module. If you want a one watt module and I uh, don't want any of the, the case or whatever, I'm thinking I might, I might use this for something else. Pull all this out, use it on a DIY project, something like that. But anyway, that's gonna do it for this one. Hopefully this has been informative in terms of uh, what this is and how it's put together. And yeah, it looks very different from the um, 500 milliwatt design. Okay, that's going to do it for this video. Talk to you later.